Hey everybody, World War Guy here today, and today I'm doing a sale video. So since I did the uh, whole collection video where I took everything out, I noticed I had way too much stuff. I've noticed in my room, it's just, it's too much stuff that it's gone to the point where I just don't know where to put things, and it's time that I finally sell some things. So I'm doing, you guys get first choice since you guys are my biggest supporters. Uh, so I think it's only fair to give you guys first dibs at everything that I'm selling. Uh, of course, I'll show the items give a quick explanation of what it is and then give you a price um, so we have some clothes here and then we have these two things to go through so we'll do that um, of course uh, I'll make sure to give my contact information of where I would prefer you guys to contact me from um, we can always do deals things like that we can talk about price and negotiate of course anything like that is up for or on the table with that being said, let's start with uh, what I have to sell. All right, so here we have a Cold War era French tunic or French uh, uniform jacket. Uh, it's missing a few buns. One, and I think one at the top. So it's missing, I think, two buns. Um, it's still in good condition, no tears otherwise. I'd do $10 on that. This right here is a 1944 dated US uh, trench coat. Um, I bought this, not really sure what it was. It's sort of like a government issue trench coat so it's not something that soldiers would necessarily wear uh, i'll show you the tags on the inside in just a second so that's the tag on the inside and then it's a size 37 l so it's a chest size 37 with a long length so it's for tall people i might be taking a loss on this one but i really just don't know how much they're worth i'll happily i'll happily do 50 dollars on this um so this might be a loss for me, but honestly, I just don't really know what it is, and it just takes up too much room. Um, I'd rather go to a better home. All right, here we have two Navy jumper uniforms. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it's World War II or not. I've never really seen one with a front breast pocket. Um, you have the flap on the back with the uh, stars on there and the stripes. This one is named... I believe that's the name, not the ship. Or it might be the ship. Um, I'll do $10. Again, I'm not sure if it's World War One, World War Two, but I might be taking a loss, but I'm just trying to get rid of it. It's $10. Here we have a World War Two jumper uniform. This one has the pants as well. Here you have the insignia. I don't know my naval insignia, but there's that. It is named on the back. And it is a size 38 for the jacket. The pants, I'm not sure. Now there is some significant moth damage on the trousers, um, but the jacket or the jumper itself is still in good condition with a few very small moth holes. This one I'd take a 25 for it. And then here we have a Vietnam era Marine Corps uh, dress jacket. You can see it's for the, the rank there. Uh, good condition otherwise, nothing, no holes or anything like that. It doesn't have the waist belt, as you can notice there. And I can't find a size on it, but this looks more like a uh, close to a size 38 chest. Uh, this one I would do 24. Alright, so now moving on to some field gear. Here we have a Cold War check map case um good condition a little dust but that's fine see on the inside there plenty of room for lots of papers maps even a little pouch for pencils uh, if you need a good map case this is definitely it uh this would i'd go for 20 dollars on it post world war ii m 1911 uh holster uh it's got a hole there it's not in the best condition for sure definitely could be better there's the markings U.S. markings. I'd be happy for five dollars on this, honestly. East German canteen. Uh, still has the cup, the flask inside. Everything is in good condition. No tears, no holes, anything like that. Um, I would do fifteen dollars on this. Here we have some G11, I believe, uh, mag pouches. These are those kind of like vinyl, rubberized vinyl type. Um, pretty interesting. There's some markings in there. 1985 dated. Uh, I would take $5 for these, honestly. Here we have a Swiss gas mask bag. I love Swiss stuff, but uh, 
I can't really do anything with this. As you can see, the straps are missing on this, so you are just getting the pouch. Otherwise, it is in good condition. Here we have some 1969 dated. You know what? Yeah, I'll do $10 on this. Here we have a Cold War Soviet uh, grenade pouch. It can hold three individual grenades. Markings are very washed away, but it might be a 53 dated. So early 50s, good condition otherwise. I would happily do $5 on this. Here we have two Swiss gas mask bags. Um, again, I like Swiss stuff. I just don't know where to put it. Uh, these are missing the straps, unfortunately. Um, but otherwise, they're still in really good condition. They do have names. This one's a French name with his uh, soldier number. And then this one. Number is gone, but you do see the name there. Uh, I would do $15 per bag or 25 for both. Here we have a Czech rucksack. I forgot the model number. Um, very similar to the German World War II rucksacks in terms of the construction. Uh, not good for German reenacting, but in terms of construction. Uh, good condition. You do have a little bit of holes here and there, but is perfectly functional. You can definitely use this for hiking still. Still has plenty of life in it. You have the check swords there, some markings here and there, and uh, you still have a tag for the soldier's name, rank, and number, I believe. And it does still come with the original Y straps, so this is complete. I would do $30 on the rucksack. Here we have a French, again, Cold War era uh, rucksack, backpack, however you want to call it. It is marked on the back. Um, it looks a little stiff, but trust me, it's not. It's just been stored for a long time. You just pop this out a little bit, and it's still good to go. Still has plenty of life in it. I used to play with this as a kid, and it's uh, still very durable. You got plenty of straps on the back. There is some tape here to repair it, but uh, I think it's more of a, just a security measure. Cause it looks like the snap is still there. There's someone put tape on it to secure it. But like I said, still very ser serviceable. Um, I would do $25 on that. All right, time for some World War II items. So we have three different pair of leggings. Uh, first pair here, the markings are very faded, but it is a 3R, someone wrote in here. You still have the original laces on them. And you do get both pairs, or both leggings, obviously. Uh, $20 on those. These are basically the exact same. Uh, markings are very faded, almost unreadable. They are a size 3R. You get the original laces on those as well. Uh, $20 as well on that. And here are some interesting leggings. So you can see the markings are also very faded, but you can see dating 1941, and these are a 3L. It's very hard to see there, but that's a 3L. So they're slightly longer than your, your 3R, because 3R is regular. Uh, they're in good condition, besides you have a tear here and a hole here. But otherwise, you can use them. Uh, they still attach. And then the the laces is just a um, like paracord, so it's not original at all. This one I would do, I think, 15. Of course, all prices are negotiable. And here we have a 2003 dated Hungarian field cap. Seeing the Hungarian flag on there with the buns. And then we do have the insignia for the rank. Um, I don't know the, the rank, honestly. I'm sure someone out there knows. But yeah, still in good condition. It is a larger size. I wear about a size 58. This is probably a size 60. Price on this, I would do $5. Here we have a older model of the Hungarian field cap. And this one's a size 57. So slightly too small for me, unfortunately. Otherwise, still in good condition. It's just been in storage, so it's a little flat, but if you wear it, it's gonna fit well. Price on this bad boy, I would do, again, I think $5 is fair. Here we have a Vietnam era US canteen cover. Uh, the markings are very faded on there. Otherwise still in very good condition. The inside is very nice. Again, $5 on this. Here we have a Swedish canteen dated 1965. Uh, good condition, you still have the carrying strap here. 
Uh, the cover I got at a different surplus store separate from the canteen. I don't know if it's original. You'll get the cover nonetheless. Um, but otherwise for the canteen, I think $5 is fair. Here we have a 1945 dated. Yeah, it's very hard to see, but it's a 1945 dated US canteen. The wire, the wire hanger has been replaced at some point. Um, otherwise, this is a good repro or reproduction, reenacting canteen. On the inside, you get this Japanese made canteen. Um, so again, for reenacting, it, it's fine. It, in the pouch, you can't really notice it. Uh, I would take $10 for the set. And here we also have another World War II canteen cover. This one is unmarked, unfortunately. It's just been faded. This is between 1942 and 1945. Um, because this is the 42 model, it's a slightly wider one. And then pre-1945, because it doesn't, it has this smaller attachment on the back versus the larger one that was done sometime in 1945. So this is still a World War II cover. cover. On the inside, you have a 1943 canteen. I will say though, at some point it was repaired. So this is a good canteen for, you know, display piece to fill up a cover. Um, but I am selling this as a set. And I think $15 on this one is very fair. And then here we have a, what is it? M7, I forgot the model name. Rubberized gas mask bag for the US military. This one is a early post-war because it has the three lift-the-dot snaps instead of just the regular snaps. This is in rough condition. You can see there's a hole there. The leather is relatively stiff still. Um, you do... Oh yeah, M7. You do still have the cross straps that still work. Um, more markings. Just because of how rough of condition it is, I'd be happy selling this for $5, honestly.